Good morning. Today we are going to see the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is a closed system of lymph vessels that circulates lymph or that transports lymph. What is lymph? Lymph is a transudate from blood which contains same plasma proteins but in smaller amount. That means if you take the plasma from the blood and the lymph fluid, okay, both has same plasma proteins. Okay. Only difference is the concentration is high here, the concentration of proteins is less here. So that is the meaning for lymph. <coughs> Organs of lymphatic system. It consists of central and peripheral lymphatic organs. The central lymphatic organs are bone marrow and thymus. They are responsible for producing B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Peripheral lymphatic organs, it includes spleen, tonsil, lymph node, thymus and mal, that is mucus associated lymphatic tissue. The mucus associated lymphatic tissue or group of lymphatic tissue present in the submucosa of the organs. It may be divided into gut associated lymphatic tissue, gut, so it is present in the digestive system, okay, face, patches, in the ileum, lymphatic follicles in the appendix and the salivary gland. This is trachea or bronco associated lymphatic tissue which is present in the respiratory system that is trachea and bronchiola. Okay. vaginal associated lymphatic tissue okay, it is present in the female reproductive system and nose associated lymphatic tissue. Okay. So it is present in the nose and the nasal cavity. Spleen. It is the largest lymphatic organ in the body. Definition, it is the largest lymphatic organ in the body. Situation. It is situated in the left hypochondrium in the mid axillary line. So general features, first one is situation. It is situated in the left hypochondrium in the mid axillary line. Okay. It is a wedge shaped organ, purple in color. It is 1 inch thick, 3 inch broad, 5 inch long and weighs about 7 ounces that is approximately 200 grams. It has two surfaces, one is visceral surface and the post behind is the diaphragmatic surface. So spleen is situated like this, this is the visceral surface and this is the diaphragmatic surface. Okay. It has two ends, anterior end which is broad and posterior end. Three borders, superior border which present notches in the its border, inferior border and the medial border. The hilum of spleen, the hilum of spleen is present in the medial surface the visceral surface presents three impressions gastric impression renal impression and colic impression the gastric impression is related to the stomach the renal impression is related to the kidney left kidney and the colic impression is related to the left colic flexure that is transverse colon continuing and descending colon so it is making a flexure when so that flexure is related to this colic area the hilum of spleen is related to tail of pancreas hilum of spleen the structures which enters and exits the hilum of spleen are splenic artery splenic vein and 
sympathetic plexus surrounding the splenic artery. The diaphragmatic surface, this is the visceral surface, this is the diaphragmatic surface. The diaphragmatic surface is related to the diaphragm inside, okay, which is related to the 9th, 10th and 11th ribs. 9th, 10th and 11th ribs. So the long axis of the spleen is in line with the 10th rib. <coughs> Blood supply. Splenic artery, venous drainage, splenic vein, nerve supply, sympathetic fibers derived from the celiac plexus or celiac network of nerves. Yes. Applied anatomy, splenomegaly, enlargement of spleen, enlargement of spleen in infections is known as splenomegaly. Splenectomy, that means removal of spleen. Okay. During splenectomy, care should be taken not to cut the tail of pancreas, which is related to the hilum of spleen. So, care should be taken not to cut the tail of pancreas, since it contains plenty of ilex of Langerhans, else it results in diabetes mellitus. Histology of spleen. It has an outer capsule. It has an outer capsule. Okay. From the capsule, numerous septa inlets the tissue. So you can see inside the Spleen, parenchyma, you can see numerous septa. These are known as septa or trabeculae. Septa or trabeculae. So, first one, it has an outer capsule. Second point, presence of trabeculae or septa in the parenchyma of the tissue. Okay. The parenchyma contains red pulp and white pulp. Okay. So this is the red pulp. And this is the white pulp. This is the white pulp. What is red pulp? What is white pulp? See, the red, red pulp contains diffusely scattered lymphocytes. The dots are the lymphocytes. Diffusely scattered lymphocytes. Okay. With sinusoids. This okay round spaces okay oval shaped spaces are sinusoids. So the red pulp contains diffusely scattered lymphocytes and numerous sinusoids. The white pulp contains densely packed lymphocytes with eccentric arteriole. A small branch of the artery is present in the white pulp. Presence of eccentric arteriole. So this is about the histology of the spleen. Okay. Next one, tonsil. What is tonsil? Okay. Group of lymphatic tissue present under the mucous membrane constitutes tonsil. A covered by mucous membrane constitutes tonsil. There are a pair of lingual tonsil a pair of palpate tonsil, a pair of pubal tonsil, and a pair of pharyngeal tonsil. Where they are situated? They are situated arrow digestive tube. Around the arrow, arrow means air. Digestive means, okay, digestive. Around these tubular structures it is situated. Okay. Lingual tonsil, it is situated in the posterior part of the tongue. Palatine tonsil, it is situated in the palate or oropharynx, exactly it is situated in the oropharynx, okay. In between the palatoglossal and palatopharyngeal arch, there are two arches, palatoglossal arch, palatopharyngeal arch. So it is present in the oropharynx, between the palatoglossal and palatopharyngeal arch. Tubal tonsil, see that is a tube connecting the middle ear 
with the nasopharynx that is the auditory tube so that tubular opening this is the opening for auditory tube so near the tubal, okay, tubular opening this tonsil are present that is the tubal tonsil it is present in the nasopharynx okay. pharyngeal tonsil it is a pair of tonsil present in the upper part of the nasopharynx nasopharynx so these are the tonsils Valdeus ring. What is Valdeus ring? It is a circular ring. It is a circular ring connecting the following tonsils. Following tonsils. Number one, a pair of lingual tonsil, a pair of palatine tonsil, a pair of pubal tonsil, and a pair of pharyngeal tonsil. So this is Valdeus ring. Okay. Next one, histology of tonsil. It is the only lymphatic organ lined by epithelium, stratified squamous, non-keratinized epithelium. Only lymphatic system, in the lymphatic system is the only lymphatic organ lined by stratified squamous, non-keratinized epithelium. Otherwise, you can say epithelium. In bracket, you can write stratified squamous, non-keratinized epithelium. Presence of crypt. That is a pit. Presence of crypt is the characteristic feature of tonsil. Okay. Below the epithelium, there are a number of lymphatic nodules. A number of lymphatic nodules. So just easily you can remember the three points. That is the histology of the tonsil. Okay. Next one. Lymph node. What is lymph node? It is a bean shaped lymphatic organ bean shaped lymphatic organ situated in various parts of the body 